Hello, hello, hello. Testing. 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 All right, cool. We have arrived to the grand finals. The grand finals. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So it looks to me like they're just uh, they're just testing out their um, their tag, testing out their controllers. Um. I would hope that this is not the final match. It's not how it's actually going, because that would be very anticlimactic. Yeah, <laughs> they're just screwing around. <laughs> and uh, we fit trainer. Striking what a game, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> striking a pseudo T pose um, as a sign of victory. But not a full top tier T pose because she was bending her right knee. Um, Floppy form, we fit trainer. We already think you'd know better. Yeah, no, we are disappointed. Now, I believe that they are going to start grand finals any second now. Tio Ainhole probably going downstairs to use the restroom or something or grab a Coke. Oh, my microphone keeps slipping away. Okay. Or maybe my sound was just uh, equilibrated. Might be taking a break or something. Uh, are we, are we a break? Didn't he have that weird plan where we wanted to take a shower before like grand finals or something? <laughs> I hope know, he's not pulling that off now. That's not that's not a horrible idea. Because you feel fresh, yeah. you feel rejuvenated, cool you're ready to go in. Yeah. Lucky, are you feeling lucky about these grand finals? What are your thoughts? What are my thoughts? Yeah. I can't give you my thoughts. They're biased. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, bias thoughts cannot be uh, cannot be expressed. Got it. Okay, a second now. That camera that you see will be going to the final match of this grand, epic, god tier tournament. Um, as you all know, consistent failure is the best player in the world. So if he loses, it's going to be a real upset. Um, <laughs> He's just resetting the music because it's, it's funny. Uh, if Tio Ainhole wins this battle, he will be the new best player in the world. Um, That's just math. Uh, Sakurai is in the building, so he will be shaking hands to the person who wins. Alright. And there's he. All right, starting off grand finals here. We have CF in the winners bracket, TO and Hole in losers. Starting off on Battlefield, one of Snake's best stages. All right, let's do this. Quick percent on Weepit Trainer here, but also his deep breathing. A very so can tack on the percent snake. very quickly here. Yeah, a very aggressive start by Snake coming in here. He still has been touched, and now he just got the. Taking one more percent off the uh, last zone in the ceiling, but Tio ain't hold doing much better job to tack on some more of his own now. This fight Snake recovering high but getting caught by the up air. I feel getting the forward tilt in to even up the percents. This fight is going to be determined by edge guards, for sure. Absolutely, which Snake definitely has the advantage of. Yes, yes. But we fit trainer can also do a lot to chase Snake up high. If she oh, up tilt, almost killing off the middle platform. Sniping with the soccer ball to get rid of those up smashes, so oppressive. There oh, trying to go for this cheeky forward smash and getting forward smashes. Oh, but then ah! the C4! <laughs> the grenade. All right. 
So now we're back to square one. Um, an aggressive start here for stock two by two eight home, uh, going in and attacking. Yep, but losing track of the C4, always yep. imperative number one when fighting Snake. If you do not but it's hard to do 100% of the time. If you don't have that close distance between you and Snake, you're not going to stand much of a chance, and that's what you and Nicole are trying to do, is close the distance, right? I think you got to extend your mic a little more. I can't really hear you. Right, sorry. Uh, yeah, the, there you the, go. The, the mic keeps slipping away. Well, what I was saying is, like, you have to keep close distance to Snake in order to be aggressive, or else you're just not going to have a good time. And that's what TUNA Hill is trying to do. Yeah, but Snake CQ, CQ, meh, CQC power is nothing to sneeze at as well. Of course, yeah. And uh, high frame data on that upkick, too, which is, has huge range. So, yep, there was. See. And TO ain't hole getting very close to down throw kill confirm presents. Can't take too much more. Oh, but he's not gonna get it here. Back it back throw not gonna kill either. Chasing with the Nikita, but not finding it. Oh, but there's the confirm. I think he tried to go to the, uh they tried to go for the ledge grab and just missed it. Oh and nice parry. Not missing. getting anything out of it other than forcing him to go to a grenade though. And not too much. Oh, right this ice oh smash. my God! Parry. parry. Yeah, not a huge punish, but a very stylish one. CF is just not lapping Tio. Tio ain't to that stage. percent now, but there's a full stock deficit. Tio Angel is gonna do have to gonna have to do something very quick here. Does have C4 on that platform, so it's going to be a little tricky for TO8 Hole to get back on stage. Just trying to weave around both snakes, disgusting hitboxes, and the C4. If TO8 can position that side smash like they've been doing throughout the match, then uh, they might be able to lower the deficit. Yeah. But throwing out a raw F smash in neutral is always something you have to catch your opponent oh, by surprise for. And the up air will take it. Yup, and the first match has been taken by consistent failure with an, uh, with an up air by Snake. Yeah, Snake very, definitely very dangerous on triplats. Yes. But TO and Hole has the full 10 stage roster to choose from right now, and CF can only manage one ban. And now they're going to Kalos. Kalos as well. Definitely the best stage against Snake, because he can't spam up Smash by the ledge like that. Because the edge platforms block it. So this is a great counter pick. We've seen uh, consistent has been at Kalos quite frequently. We uh, because people often pick the chase, uh, choose this stage against him. Um, yeah, do you think he's, he's definitely a good enough accommodate? player that it doesn't always matter. But yeah, exactly. Your chances are better here than anywhere else. All right, the second Good. match begins. Getting the deep breathing right off the bat. Also, do 17% with just a single back air. Definitely a huge buff. Just running around each other, letting the deep breathing expire, and hitting the soccer ball back for quite a good chunk of percent. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we have been informed that it is indeed a volleyball and not a soccer ball. Uh, we do apologize. Getting a quick sun salutation there, tagging on some much needed percent. And Nikita coming in for the edge guard, having to go super low, but managing to get back with the ball jump. Off stage again, gets another chance. But got close enough that he could, that TO ain't hole could threaten consistent failure, so he had to let go of the Nikita. Really seeing trying to come down from high again. These two. Yeah, this is definitely a real slobber knocker. Oh, <laughs> funny little interaction there. Huh! That. It was a very delayed kill. Yeah, I did not expect that to kill either. I did thought he, he would come back with his recovery, but... Did he jump? Um, it looks like the first to stop was momentum taken. And was accidentally taken go off the ceiling? So Natio coming back aggressively, which is a good idea, because the second player after the first stock tends to come back very aggressively. So Yeah, he got some good that. early percent combos, but Snake yep. managing to take it with that back air quickly enough that only 30% was t added on. And now it's even again. Got neutral back out of that scenario. But definitely a dangerous percent for Wii Fit Trainer, and Snake sitting pretty at only 78. 
It can be so hard to kill him on a stage this high for a character that weighs that much. And his recovery is that good. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a strong F smash, almost doing it all the way from the other side of the stage. It, he's very good at finding these. If the kickback is strong, um, then it doesn't matter Snake's recovery. Oh! oh there we air go. Air dodging right into the up smash. And the second stop Great read by taken. CF. <laughs> ah, failing to Too position. Too greedy. That, Come that on. <laughs> no, Come he's on. not going to get the kill that easily. Sorry. And James can definitely get punished when he starts feeling himself a little too much, but then the parries come through and he tacks on some great damage. Using the Nikita in neutral. Q and hold just jumping around it. Soccer ball, not quite volleyball, not quite finding its mark. Oh, running in when the up smash is going. Very dangerous. Teal playing very carefully, a quick a uh, spot dodge board right there. Getting hit up with the grenade, it almost looked like he could have used that to get the positioning for the edge guard on CF, but not quite. Attempting for a spike right there, but failing. And there oh, is the notorious up. And the up tilt will do it with a full rage snake. All right, that's a two for snake. I'm not sure if we're. Would be gonna, first. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna sense a 3-0 here because um, if Tio and Aho can adapt. Yeah, he definitely had great adaptations. Say that match with Spice Fairy. So, as someone who fought uh, consistent earlier, what do you say would be the biggest piece of advice right now for making a comeback? Oh man. <laughs> uh, I know it depends on the character, but as general advice against Snake. I would definitely say trying to tack on as much damage as possible. We Fit Trainer is definitely the kind of character where you can just tack on percent and then like camp out camp him, take the occasional trade with him, but try to get your projectiles on him more than his get on yours. Right. And then get him with a relatively weak hit that will just kill due to the percent. Right. And that could be hard because Snake's projectiles are hard to track. And they're very hard to see sometimes. Yeah, uh, so they can live for so long as well. Ah, uh, no idea what that's about. I guess that's for mashing. Just a super unorthodox response out of it. Like most people would put shield for that. Are they about to test the control? No, they're not right, going to even test it. Um, not sure what's happening. They set all of their directional or would-be taunt buttons to attack. Very confusing. Yep. I don't know. I don't think. But yeah, we could definitely anymore. chase Snake off stage as well. One of the few characters that can consistently recover from the depth that Snake is capable of going to. And they chose Yoshi's Story. Um, easier to ledge grab at this stage. Yep. But also triplats, which is just an enormous benefit for Snake. Yes. Honestly, even though he lost there, I would have liked to see... Oh, but going Yoshi! Interesting. This might actually be a better matchup, but I have not seen Teo and Hose Yoshi in quite some time. Yoshi's an excellent player... Uh, excuse me, character who can apply pressure consistently, so we'll see how Snake handles this. Yeah, he can definitely get the rush down on Snake in a way that we Fit Trainer just can't. So... We'll see if this counter pick will make all the difference for him here. Definitely has the percent lead for the moment. Look, looks like... Is there a lag on screen? Uh, it's a little choppy, but it's not yeah. too bad. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, wow! Getting the sour spot thanks to the Nikita, that might have saved his life. Oh, it almost getting the fair, but taking too long to come out. His double jump is burnt. So is uh oh, he's got to get back on stage. Well, the platform's helping him to get back down. Wow, that parry to up tilt almost killing him there. If Yoshi is so adapt small. To this new play style, oh yep. Yeah, and it looks like he is. Uh, if he can adapt quickly, then maybe the control change wouldn't have been the best idea. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow, great kill confirm. Starting from scratch again. 
I'm definitely liking this counterpick to Yoshi so far, but I'm not so sure about Yoshi's Island, because the ceiling there is so damn small. Yes, that's Like, we've already true. seen Snake kill with the up tilt so incredibly early. But Yoshi also Like, he's has... already in danger here. Yoshi has good kill confirms as well, so the low ceiling might actually work in his favor. Yeah, that's definitely true. And both these characters very heavy. Yes. Woo, getting the parry. Uh-oh. All right, air dodging back. This is definitely belaying maybe some unfamiliarity with the character right now. Yeah, that's what I would assume. And this is another Excellent. stage where Snake is not able to do those up, sp up smash spams onto the ledge, which is definitely good for Yoshi. Uh, has to use his double jump to get back. Uh-oh, and he's dead. Yep. Yeah. Just sitting around each other, getting blown up by the Excellent grenade turret and the confirm until the up air! It's just a pretty even game this far, so... Yeah. That was great patience from T.O. Ain't Hole. Both them waiting for the grenade to blow up. It is very even here. Slight advantage to T.O. Ain't Hole, both in percent and in momentum. If T.O. can actually gain momentum by playing very carefully, he actually stands a pretty oh, good chance of getting a super greedy up smash. Fair coming through. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Caught him sleeping there! I think he didn't forgot recognize that the, that down tilt, the down smash charging animation from Yoshi. Yup, and it has a full 360 degree turn, so he probably thought it was one sided. Oh, wow. Wow. We definitely have a fair amount of Yoshis in this uh, region. By which I mean, just Oberlin, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't tend to make it super far in brackets, so maybe CF has not had a huge amount of experience with these. I've yet to just see from what he can get from friendlies when Old Manendorf or some of the other players who do it come in. Nice turn to present combo there. there. Yeah. But just the FTO can do 16 on its own. Nobody hits it quite as hard as Snake does. But Yoshi has those great aerial out of shield options. Really able to punish Snake when he uses a move that has just a bit too much end lag to it. Tied up in percent here. Trying to chase him with the eggs. Yeah. Getting one, getting two. Attacking on just a little bit more percent, which goes such a long way against Snake. It can take so long to get the kill on him that you need every little bit you can. Getting the fair? Oh, down air saving him there. The egg hitting the Nikita, but then Yoshi's big fat body hitting the up smash. Yeah. Oh. Getting a smash attack of his own. I Even game again. Here. Pattern here. As soon as CF gets his kill confirmed, uh, uh, Tio and Aho comes right back and gets that kill confirmed. Yeah. And this is definitely an unconventional Yoshi as well, using the side B in neutral a lot of the time. Which, and not a lot of the Yoshis the around air. here definitely don't do. I haven't seen as much of a spam of the down air as I see in maybe some uh, other Yoshi players. So. Yeah, Snake definitely is super hard punishes, and CF is incredibly good at getting parries. So it's definitely a little dangerous move. Well, it's actually kind of hard to parry the multi-hits. And chasing him up again, using those eggs to just apply so much consistent pressure. And has to get around the Nikita. Oh, air dodging away from the up the smash. Quick. Great Before call. She comes back uh, with all that aggression. Oh, time F smash. that F smash again. Yep. Not able to get a huge punish out of it. And the F smash comes through this time. That's why he does it, I guess. Get the grab. Just 6% off of it. Up tilt to two up airs, great combo. That up tilt is very difficult to escape. Yeah, you get so many good confirms off of that. And the fair just if a little bit too snow to slow to get Snake when he's trying to recover with the up B. All he has to do is perfectly time the F smash and he might have a kill, kill, uh, a, uh, kill confirm. Ooh, getting the last hit of down air.
See, if he's in the Nikita in neutral, but gets stage control back for it. Ooh, and sneaking in with the up tilts. Now, that's CF, quite the percent deficit. CF is a very clutch player, so he can still definitely make a strong Definitely. Comeback. Almost yeah. getting the spike there. Might yeah. Not a kill since Yoshi was so low, but scary nonetheless. Spot touching through the forward smash. Yeah. And TO8 Hall might not want to use too many more of those. Oh, using the super armor from the double jump to get through that Nikita. Could have been put in a very bad place otherwise. If CF just consistently reads the smash attacks, then he'll actually win oh. this match. Oh, oh there it is! No! Wow. That's all it takes. If he would have kept his stock, then the match would have been leaning toward Yoshi. Is that it? Yep. What a game. Consistent failure. Yo, I have a huge, huge shout outs and congratulations to uh, Consistent Failure for taking the tournament. Beating Tio Ainhole 3 2 in the first set they played in Winners Finals and then winning 3 1 uh. in Grands. It's quite the run. Yeah, great job, the consistent failure. We're about to see some salty sweeps on stream. I think we're going to see Rip Post versus Thrill. Thrill was not in bracket and actually came just for the salty sweep match. <laughs> right now, we can see consistent failure and Tio Ainhole still up in the stream room, probably having a talk after their game, probably talking about what they could have done better, but uh. Yeah. I don't, oh my god, here's here's James with the big sigh of relief, the huge, huge mini pop-off, the sigh of relief as he takes his another tournament. Consistent failure has, I think he's been undefeated for like...